Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be playing Ghost Runner. Now, if you guys don't know, Ghost Runner has been a game that's been on my radar for a while. It should be on your radar as well. So, the, the best comparison I can give you of how this game looks and feels like is if you guys have played a game called Super Hot, it essentially has like some sort of time manipulation where when you when you stop moving, time stops and you can like really assess the situation oh, with... It kind of reminds me of, me of that for this game, and you guys will see why I say that in a little bit. And the other game is Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is a first-person uh, parkour game, and it's essentially kind of the, like a combination of both. This game is very into like stylish uh, kills and whatnot, so I I highly recommend this game. This game looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It could be a little irritating at times, but I think that's more just like bad luck at that point you have to fight your way out of here yeah so lead to another sector god your software is a mess there we go let me tell you i, I I've, I've failed that part a lot of times trying to fucking record this this is actually my fourth time recording this technically they'll be waiting for you uh mostly because the audios have been really fucked up so this is the part where it reminds me of Super Hot because essentially you can do this and then get the kill. There's some time distortion there, so that's why it kind of reminds me of that. Alright, let's see. Ooh, that was cool. No! <sighs> Cool. Like one thing I really wish this game had is like let's say right here that guy I should have been able to like just snap onto him instead of like what just happened there. Fuck you. Follow the pipes to get out in the open. There's a few things that I wish this game had like obviously like I wish you could snap Use onto enemies when you're like a certain point like close to them. Slide to uh, speed. That's pretty much it honestly. Mostly because you'll see some shit, some like me like going through them or whatnot. And I think that's just annoying at that point. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. So yeah, like I'm I don't think I'm bad at this game. It's just uh I have a tendency of being too too like too far from people. So that's what ends up fucking me up, but overall this game is a lot of fun. I highly recommend this game. Dome on lockdown. Right, this is the part. Each god has a built-in lockdown. There we go. Tenants found outside their homes will be considered part of the rebel forces and treated as such. There we go. Lockdown lifted. So, that's pretty much the first level. I really hope there's more than like six levels, honestly. I know it's $30, but like, I really hope that uh, it's not this short. And Jonathan, don't feel bad. Uh, this is literally me having to record this four times. I've literally recorded me saying this a lot of times. So I have a lot more practice than I did before, which kind of sucks. I really wanted to show you guys like my growing pains of this game because it took a while for me to get like adequate, adequately good. So like, or adequately good. That does that make sense? I don't know. So. This is, we're getting to the point where it's one of my favorite parts. Just because the, the hook adds such a, like, cool aspect to the game. There we go. That's the, like, the one thing is, like, you can get sniped out of, like, nowhere. It's just like, oh, that's cool, yeah. Definitely fun. But I know people are going to be like, well, you have to manage everything. And I'll be like, yeah, fuck you, okay? It sounds like a cop out, but okay. And then get to the last portion, which is actually this. 
Prisoner termination protocol initiated. And that's pretty much it. That's the second level, guys. Let me know in the comment below what you guys think about the game. I'm personally loving this game. Although I do seem salty at times, don't get it twisted. I like this game a lot. It uh, has a lot of potential to be a really cool speedrunning game. A really cool stylish game to see like how people go through levels. I definitely hope they have portions of the level where you can go like high or low or mid. Like different situ like different approaches to a situation would be really cool and I'm not gonna show you the next portion of the mission which has a lot of story related stuff I think you guys should play that for yourselves anyways let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone with the constant support and other than that I will see you guys later